Oh, yeah. This is a UPS made by myself and Mr. Dom Taglia Lavore, inspired by Photonic Induction's little, little UPS system he has to power his house. I say little, but it does power his whole house. It's ten times more powerful than this. We've only got a little uh, fake sine wave generator here. It's a very, very cheap little inverter. We're running that off a uh, 40 amp car battery. So we've got our mains feed here. So usually we'll have a, this is the output socket. That Dremel there is just running off the mains now. As you can see it's all connected, powered on. As we unplug it and simulate a power cut, the inverter takes over almost instantly. Still powering the Dremel and the plug is out of the socket. The thing we figured out we do need to do, which we saw in your video, is a delay between when the inverter powers on after there being a, uh, a cut. That's purely because there is a tiny delay anyway with the inverter, but it pretty much puts out 200 and 240 volts pretty much instantly anyway, and we found that, uh, especially with a breaker on, which we've now thrown somewhere, especially with a circuit breaker, we get a, uh, we get a little bit of a trip. So... Uh, we're going to have to sort that out somehow, so Photon, if you could post on this video and tell us what we can do to sort that out, how we can get a delay to work quite simply, that would be lovely. But yeah, I mean, uh, it's good. We're inspired by yourself. It all still works. This has just been built basically to power a, um, a router when the power goes out, and we haven't figured out quite how we're going to charge the battery yet, probably with a float or a trickle charger. We might even build one ourselves. Well, uh, thanks very much. Thank you, boys. Good night. Ladies and gents.